Hello, in this video I'm going to explain more about the assembly module. I'm going to explain the basis of them and some hints that you might find them interesting. So starting with importing part, you can import a part. The part have, should be designed in advance and then you can import them. And the, the you have two options, dependent or independent. Is, and the difference is the way that you're going to mesh them. So I'm going to select like this and after that, I would like to show you how you can move the part. If you want to move them, you can select this option. Then you select your part that you want to move. In here, you have an initial point, and then you move it to the second point you want. You can see that the part move in that direction. If I select it again, again, I'm going to move it from this point, for example, to this point. You can see this point is moved. If you have a distance, you can easily set the first one zero and the second one, and you can set the value for the second one like one, and you can see it moved one unit to the left, which is x direction. You can rotate your part. In order to rotate it, you need to have the axis. You can define your axis, or you can easily select two points that you defines your axis of rotation and you can define the value for rotating for example i'm gonna rotate this part minus 90 degree in this axis and you will see it move like this also you have option of uh, having multiple of these you can see if you want uh, multiple offset a pattern of them you can increase them even with a different value, you can see. And also, sometimes you need to have a circular pattern. So if, for example, I select this part in order to have the circular pattern, you can see I'm having four of them with 90 degree. In, so as you can see, this one is perpendicular to this one, which, is, which shows that the uh, angle between them are 90, and I have four parts in between. So I also can select the axis of rotation differently like here and you can see they are all rotating a lot around this axis. Okay, these are the basics that about the assembly. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.